guys. Last week we learned about the continent of North America. There it is. <laughs> Today we are going to learn about our country, the United States of America. Thank you. Now there's so much to learn about our country that people have to take it as a course in high school. And then they take it again sometimes in college. There's just so much to learn. And I could talk to you all day about the United States and its geography, but we don't have that kind of time. Let's focus on the things that are really important for you to know. First of all, how big is it? It's really big. It is 3.8 million square miles. That's huge. We're actually one of the biggest countries in the world. We're not the largest, but we're definitely up there as one of the giants. Here's a picture of our country. It's pretty large because it goes from the Pacific Ocean all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. And we are the third largest in terms of population or number of people that live in our country. Our country is made up of 50 states, and each of the states works independently with their own laws, but they also work together to, recre to create a republic or a country. Now, 48 of the states are close together. Can you see which two aren't close to the other states? If you answered Alaska and Hawaii, you were correct. Those two are not actually physically connected to the other 48 of the states, but that's okay. They're still part of our country. The United States is also more than just 50 states. There is one district as well. It's a little bit different from a state because it's also our capital. That's why they can't make it a state. Can you name our capital? If you guessed Washington, D.C., you were correct. Did you also know that there are territories owned by the United States but aren't directly governed by us? There are five of them. All right, but let's get back to our 50 states. Every state has its own border. Some borders are natural and some borders are straight lines. And there's a story behind every one of the state borders. The older states in the east use natural features. So you can see that they're kind of squiggly lines. They're not straight cut. They don't look like those states over here that have lots of right angles and straight lines. These ones were not formed by lakes or rivers. Every state has its own story. Speaking of those natural features, did you know that our country has every kind of landform on the planet as well as every type of ecosystem? I think that's pretty cool, don't you? All right, so next year in second grade, you're gonna learn the names of all the states and where they're located on the map. So it doesn't hurt to get a little bit of a jump on learning them. If you wanna learn more about the states and where they're located, there's a great app called Stack the States that I highly recommend and you might enjoy playing it. All right, well, I think you have enough information for today's lesson. Thanks for watching, bye.